What is going on everyone? This video is about how to perform a SQL query on your data in AWS Glue Studio using the visual editor. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how by using an example of identifying my top customers of a hypothetical company by finding which customers have made the most orders greater than $500. So in Glue Studio, as you can see here, I already brought in my two data sets coming from S3. My first data set is my customer table, which if we hit the data preview button, you can see here we have the ID, first name, last name, and email. So this is information about the customer. So to join these two tables together, we're going to be joining it by the customer ID in the customer order table and the ID column in the customer table. So to get us started here, we're going to hit the transform button. We're going to scroll down until we find the SQL transform. We're going to add that to the canvas. And now we're going to hit node properties. So we want to make sure that these two nodes are connected together so we can perform our SQL query on both of them. So under node parents, we're just going to select both of those tables. And now if we click back on that transform, we're going to hit the transform button. And now we can identify our tables in SQL code with aliases. So I'm going to call my customer table profile, which stands for customer profile. And for the order table, I'm going to give it the alias orders. Great. So as you can see, that red exclamation mark went away. Now we can add our SQL query to join and filter our data. So I'm going to change my select star to be select ID, first name, last name from orders. Now we're going to perform an inner join on the profile table and it's going to be on orders dot customer underscore ID equals profile dot ID. And now we're going to add in our where clause, which we're going to be filtering on the total amount. So it's going to be where total amount is greater than 500. And before we run the job, we can hit the data preview button. And as you can see here, we've identified two customers that have orders greater than 500. So that's good. We've identified three orders that are greater than $500, but two of the orders are coming from the same customer. So we're going to change up our query just to get the top two customers rather than just filtering it by order. So if we go back to our transform here, I'm just going to paste in the updated SQL query that is going to include the group by ID. And the other change we made is because first name and last name are strings, they can't aggregate by the ID. So we added an alias called first name, the last name column. And finally, the last thing we did is we added this count by ID and called the total order. So we can get a count for each of the orders that have been made for each customer. Now, to make sure that looks good, we're going to hit the data preview button. And as you can see here, now we've successfully aggregated up. So we have only two records being returned. And before we write it out, I'm just going to select the output schema and make sure to hit the use data preview schema to get the correct column output names that we're going to want to use when we're writing our data. So I'm going to write this back to my data lake in S3. So I'm going to add a target and it's going to be Amazon S3. I'm going to select the file format to be parquet. Compression, we're going to leave as null. I'm going to pass in my S3 bucket location and object path. So it's going to be writing it to this bucket here. This is my process folder in S3. And this is going to be the subdirectory which has all the files related to my top customers, which I've identified. Um, because this table doesn't exist in the data catalog, but I want to be able to query this, let's say down the road in Athena, I'm going to create a table in the data catalog and we're going to select our database that we want to add it to. And the table name is going to be top underscore customer and everything else looks good. So I'm going to run this job and skip ahead to show you what the end result looks like in AWS Athena. So in AWS Athena, so after our job runs, we should see our new table and we can do a quick select to see what the data looks like. And as you can see here, our end results are two records that we've outputted as a result of our analysis. So I hope this video was helpful to understand how to implement custom queries on your data in Glue jobs using Glue Studio. As you can see with Glue Studio, you don't even need a no Spark to perform PySpark based queries. Thanks so much for watching. And if this tutorial was helpful, please don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss out on my next video on AWS and working with data. See you next time.